Hi, y'all. Hello. It's Neva from Manic Mama Musings and Captain, Captain Obvious. Obvious. RLJ KBX. He has a few YouTubes, but to me, he's Captain Obvious. Or my honey bunny. Or that hairy one. Yeah. Um, oh, so, another movie in Stitch. Yep. Um, we did two. Actually, we were ahead on watching movies and catching up on videos, but that's good because we were way far behind. So, if you're still doing movie and stitch and are behind, there is hope. Keep trying. We this one is T and U. I'm sad to say that our T movie was twins. Someone really wanted to watch it. It could have been way worse. We put tea movies in a wheel picker that we found, and apparently, the gods above chose that we should watch Twins because the wheel picker picked it, so he got his way. It's not. Okay. I don't like it. Okay, <laughs> I just don't. I'm not a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger and I like Danny DeVito don't get me wrong he is funny in some stuff hops to his back for carrying the whole movie by the way <laughs> the movie is just painful for me two women who are like blonde and are, are supposed to be the the typical dumb blondes is the way I look at it I don't like that bimbo I don't like that. I don't. I'm just not one of those people that enjoy watching that. I don't know, but I just I don't know. There's something about the movie I can't stand. But if you like those kind of movies, I don't even know what kind of movie. It's a comedy to some people. Um, <laughs> Twins is an old movie, so I'm sure most of you have watched it. I just don't like it. It's not a You talk about May it, because I, I, yes, okay. I'll let you him talk about it. <laughs> so the movie, it I think that the only real interesting character is Danny DeVito. Um, a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger's stuff plays off the same thing over and over. Yeah, he's this big muscular guy who doesn't understand American culture. And that's what a basis of all of his comedy comes from. Um, and also that him and Danny DeVito share similar mannerisms like scratching their butt at the same time or going to the bathroom the same way. It's kind of funny to see that sort of thing happen, but it doesn't happen frequently enough, but it would burn people out way faster if they did. I really think that a lot of the characters were kind of bland and like stereotypical. Like she said, like you have your ditzy blondes, you have the big guy, you know, who beats everybody up. You have your bad guys, um, you have your ultimate bad guy eh, guys they haven't the cats haven't <laughs> done anything today until now so anyway yeah it's it was it's very pink color by the numbers until you know until the end it's not really terrible but it's not great you want to read some trivia <laughs> yes i do you feel like come on i have nothing nightmare. else to say about it did you agree with me though I didn't like it at all. That's fine. You don't have to like it. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Arnold Schwarzenegger has always wanted to do a sequel called Triplets with Danny DeVito and adding Eddie Murphy as a long lost third brother. DeVito pitched script ideas back in two thousand three, but Schwarzenegger was too busy running for governor of California. Oh I guess gosh. it's a good thing that it didn't go through. But rumors started floating around soon after that a remake may happen instead and star Jason Momoa and Peter Dinklage. Co-stars of the series of Game of Thrones. That's kind I of an interesting point. Yeah, they probably won't do that. That's that's gone. I like Jason Momoa, but don't ruin Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny. But anyways, um, this was uh, I think this was the first comedy movie Arnold did in 1988. Yeah, Twins. He'd always been wanting to do a comedy for years after several action movies, and Twins was his opportunity. And uh, this led to a whole string of weird movies. You know, you had um, Kindergarten Cop, Junior. Junior's probably the, the weirdest movie I've ever seen in my life. You thought Twins was bad? Oh, yeah. Watch Junior. Okay. I've seen Kindergarten Cop, and I've seen Twins. That's enough. I'd rather watch Kindergarten Cop <laughs> if I had a choice. 
Um, I'm so sorry if you're an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan or if you really love the movie Twins. We are all different. I want to remind you. And that's what makes the world great. And also for you Schwarzenegger fans out there, he did not really pick up the car in a, in real life. That he was should a, have. Yeah. Probably could have. I thought he did until I read this and I was like, movie making. Okay. So. Okay. So. That was Twins. Let's move to the U movie because I'm excited to talk about that. It was What's the, the name ult- of it? The ultimate, the ultimate life. No, the ultimate. Get, yes, the ultimate life. The ultimate which life. apparently there's one before it that's called the ultimate gift, and one that goes after it that's the ultimate legacy. Yes. When we watched the ultimate life, because that's what popped up in Peacock on you. Yes. And I loved it, and so now I want to watch the first one and then the third one because I really loved it. I thought it was an excellent movie. Um, there for a while, there's some back and forth and I have trouble, like if movies go back and forth too much, but very good movie, very good acting and very good movie. I re- a very good storyline. And apparently it probably would have been better if I'd have watched the ultimate gift first, but I didn't know there was a before and a after. So I will be watching all three of them. Eventually I recommend it if you like movies that are... Um, feel good movies. I, I don't know. They kind of have inspiring. a moral behind them. That um, they're inspiring movies. Uh, you know, so much of that's why I don't watch news is because of all the negativity, and so much of our life is negative anymore. That this is a movie that I can't lie. I was kind of mad at the guy, like that he was so obsessed with one certain thing. I won't talk about it if you haven't seen it because you just got to watch it. But I suggest you watch The Ultimate Gift first. Um, Like, he was really obsessed. But in the end, like, there was a reason I think they made him that way because in the end it shows something totally different. And it was magnificent. Um, It's character building. Yes. I needed a lot more of that. I can't say that I think I recognize many of the characters in it or the the actors um but it i just all i can say is i highly recommend it i loved it um i didn't i don't think i fell asleep during that one nope and i don't think i got tired we did pause Um, a lot because we got hungry halfway yeah if there's movies that like i've watched a few times and okay the way i feel lately if it's a movie I've watched before, I'll probably fall asleep even if I like it because I know what happens. And I always tell myself I'm just going to lay here and relax and I don't because I can see it in my head and then I fall asleep. Or if it's something like the twin, uh, like Twins. I have seen Twins before too, but that's not why I fall asleep in that one. If it's something that I really don't like, I don't even try to lie to myself and tell myself, oh, I'm going to listen to the movie. I'm hoping I fall asleep. So, um, this one I stayed awake for, and I truly enjoyed it. On to you, Captain Obvious. I really liked it. I have to say that, um... I it's l- not really his kind of movie, just so y'all know. He doesn't... You don't know me, okay? You don't know my life. But... <laughs> it's just not really... It's not what he watches. No, I like... I like characters... I like character development and stories, and this was character development. This story was basically one giant flashback. But it, it also explains what's going on in the present day, sort of, you know, why this character is the way he is, why he's having to do this whole flashback thing, this diary. It was really cool, and it also has this big moral at the end where you find happiness not in, you know, in a pocketbook, but, you know, in the little things. Not to give anything away, but it's really worth watching. He's you guys trying to get stuff out. away. Um. It's but it's really them. not, like, he never, some of the movies he's watched with me, he never watched before, because they're not his type of movies. Now, he usually likes them once he watches them, but if it's something that pop, he'll be like, he wouldn't have picked that one. I picked it. By reading the little, you know, thing, I picked it. So, that just, that's our differences. He loves twins. 
there are two types of movies I like. Movies that I can turn my brain off and just enjoy, and movies that are well, deep and have character development, but aren't, but aren't confusing. So. I turned my brain off during that movie quite a few times. In fact, I think I lost brain cells watching I Wings, fell asleep. Honestly. So, can you read us some trivia? Yes, I have one piece of trivia right here. Oh, and then the other one I read about on Wikipedia. Oh, so, so when Alexia steps out of the limousine, the limo driver that is holding the door open for her is the author, Jim Stovall, who wrote The Ultimate Gift and helped write The Ultimate Life. And the other piece of trivia is that this movie did not even recoup its entire budget in terms of ticket sales. That's sad. But home sales of this went through the roof, the home media. It really is a good movie. I enjoyed That's impressive. It. Um, I, was it Terry of Yarn Joy Podcast? Somebody had talked about the ultimate, I don't know which one she watched. I think the ultimate gift. Anyway, I, sorry, Terry, if you're not the one that watched it, or and I'm sorry to whoever did review it, um, but um, and they really liked it. And then, but I didn't put it together when I was picking movies because the ultimate gift didn't show up, and so ultimate life. Oh, cool. And then, plus my brain forgets a lot of stuff. So she could have even. I and and once I watched it and realized there was a first one, then I remembered someone talking about it. But I didn't when we picked it. So um, I'm gonna watch them all too. I, I do too. It's very good. It's and it's a, a family friendly movie. Um, you know, there's not violence. There's not um, there's not sexuality or cussing or, you know, and not that I don't watch those. But I mean, if you're looking for a family friendly movie, especially you know, like little little kids won't get it. They probably won't want to watch it. But it does have some good life lessons in it, and um. I just completely recommend it. So, for the stitch part of movie and stitch, I have a whole bag of the, not a whole bag of donations because it sounds like it's a big old full bag and it's not. But I, to add to what I made, which I re remind you, it was a pair of sock, a pair of slipper socks, uh, ear warmer, and a hat. I made two pairs of fingerless gloves to go in the grocery basket. If anyone wants to send me anything to put in there, my goal is November 15th to, um, to fill that basket. So email me and I'll let you know how to, I mean, not saying anyone has to, just if you would like to, I really, November 15th would love to be able to just fill that basket all the way up and even give him extra if I can to put in there because I know he'll put it in there. He's the one that started it and started putting stuff in there and it's for not not just homeless people for anyone who might need warm stuff in the winter time and i think that's an excellent idea even like sealed water bottles stuff like that so i made pink pair and i made a blue pair and um of fingerless gloves and it's just uh i i, I like to use the the i like ones that have I like to try different patterns, but when I'm just going to do something that I don't have to look at a pattern or watch a tutorial for, it's just the double crochet ones and I put ribbing at each end and I leave, I sew it up and leave the, the space for the thumb, the hole for the thumb. And so, uh, yeah, so I got two of those done. So, so far I have a hat, a ear warmer, a pair of, I have some other hats put away. So this isn't all that I have to put in there. So don't think oh she's not gonna make it by November 15th because don't count me out yet y'all um the slipper socks and these and then I still have we still have some movies to watch like I said we've been watching a lot but we still have movies to watch and not just that but I can crochet on um donation stuff not during those movies you know it's not a rule that that's the only time I can crochet those it's just I'm also trying to work on Christmas presents and whatnot. Busy hands. Well, that and I've been sleeping. Because that's what I do. I don't know when that iron's supposed to kick in. I've been taking it like I'm supposed to every day. And I'm still exhausted. Part of it's probably the weather change. I get that way when the weather starts changing. And here in New Mexico, like today was 80 and it was probably down in the 30s last night. And so when it goes back and forth like that, it wreaks havoc on my body. Once we get cold and my body gets used to the cold, yes, I'm still going to be 
tired if the iron hasn't helped. But I, my body at least gets used to it. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying now. That has nothing to do with me being stitched. Just took a detour down another railroad track. That's life in the desert, you guys. That's life with me. Um. So, um, let me know if you like twins. Let me know you like twins. He loves the movie. He likes it. Just because he said he turned his brain off, it's because it's mindless humor. But he likes that kind of stuff. He likes Mel Brooks. I can't. Mm -mm. Um. <laughs> I know and, a way um, we can rate movies. We can give them one thumb up, two thumbs up, or two thumbs down. What about one thumb down? Yeah, that's be you know, one thumb up. One thumb up means that it's alright. Two means. But two. see, I think there could be no thumbs. Okay. Because that's just, how I feel about twins. Like, just be like, it's not the worst movie ever. That's fair enough. Do I ever want to watch it again? No. The Ultimate Life, two thumbs up. Most definitely. And for me, Bones was... One. Bones was Absolutely. two thumbs down. Under the if screen. you haven't watched our review, Bones, <laughs> that one was on one of the Vlogtobers. You've got to watch it. But anyway, um, or Crochetobers. So, I still have not gotten my blanket all... I, I want to put appliques on it, but I might just sew in my ends and take the picture of it on my bed and then if I add appliques because I've got some pictures from some people if you're watching this and you made the crochet tover blanket I would love it if you would send me a photo of it because I want to do a video with all the blankets that I can get a hold of not like with my hands just a picture of it get the idea and put it to in possess. my video my very last crochet tover video because it's not over until I do the very last one which is my blanket with the everything sewed in and it all laid out because I do have the border on it now so okay now I'm gonna stop because it's getting long and um, I still want to do a speaking my truth I'm trying to just not push myself about videos because I can't lie October kind of wore me out so and I'm gonna I'm trying really hard to be prepared for December, but I still won't be because I never am. I'm don't if you're counting on me to be prepared, you're counting on the wrong chick. Just saying, I'm just not. I never I try to be. It doesn't work that way. It's my brain doesn't allow it. I think so. Twins and the ultimate life, and then we will be back in our next movie and stitch for V. And W. And so, um, can't wait to share those with you. I hope I will have a Speaking My Truth video tonight. Just some rambling and sharing a few things with y'all, you know, mixing it up. Love y'all. Oh, and I didn't do Friday Funnies, so we will do Friday Funnies on a Saturday.